If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and truly you'd be hard pressed to find a platform that is more committed to creative uses of AI than our sponsor today, Pixverse. I love the Pixverse site. I've done a couple of videos on it in the past and they've just updated their main model and it is fantastic. I can't wait to show it to you. Plus, if you've never heard of Pixverse, to show you all the cool little fun toys they have on the site. But my favorite feature and what I really want to focus on today, because we could do a really long video on this site, is the ability to extend your videos with a variety of effects so that you end up with one continuous output file that you don't necessarily have to edit together in another video editing program, complete with sound and the ability to use custom characters and just a ton of stuff. So let's get into it. When you go to the main site, it really features a lot of these trendy sort of effects like the microwave stuff, changing your clothes, doing a walk from a video. I love this stuff. It's really a lot of fun, but the ability to create continuous videos out of it is even more engaging to me. This is the main area you have lots of different things to play with. You can do straight image to video or text to video, show you examples of all of these things. These effects that we've talked about here, you've got a lot to choose from. Transition means start and end frames, a very popular technique these days. And sound allows you to add sound effects to your videos automatically. Speech is a lip sync solution where you can do text to speech or you can upload audio files and it will drive the lip sync. Restyling allows you to add particular visual styles to existing videos or videos you're doing and it does a great job. Fun examples of that as well. And of course, the extend feature to take a video that exists and add time to it. And there are so many different ways to do that here on the platform. And character, as it suggests, allows you to maintain some consistency among characters by uploading an image of a face, and then that face is translated into the videos that you make. Before we get into the sort of gadgety part of this or the trendy part of this, I want to show you the quality of their new version 4 model. I will often go back to the Sora prompt site here to do some comparisons with the newer models, since Sora made such a splash with all of these examples, and this woolly mammoth is one of the best ones that they had up there. So when new models come out, I will often throw this prompt through it to see what it comes up with. And in this case, it did a fantastic job. Now, I need to tell you that the recording software that I use lowers the frame rate of the screen captures that I do. I want that fixed immediately. So when I'm showing you videos in the interface, the frame rate might be a little bit low, but I'm also going to include the full frame rate videos of these so that you can see. So here's the video at the full frame rate and full resolution. Plus, I'm going to show you some examples of using the restyle feature here to, for example, make it look like The Simpsons. Again, this is a very high resolution output. Now we have your origami restyling, and you can do this to anything that you're prompting or you put in after the fact. And then we have the sort of Starry Night style superimposed on this. Another prompt example I like to borrow from Sora is this one about the pirate ships in the coffee mug. Here is what Pixverse came up with with this prompt. I think the detail is amazing. It's giving me things that I have not seen in any of these other generations. I don't know if you've ever tried to prompt for a Rube Goldberg machine before, and certainly this is not perfect, but it is one of the more interesting examples of output that I've gotten. I gave it a fairly detailed prompt here, an elaborate, whimsical Rube Goldberg machine made of colorful marbles. So I gave it a lot to work with here, and I do really like the output. Here it is at full resolution and full frame rate just so you can see again the quality of what's being output by this model. Again the temptation to show you everything is overwhelming because there is so much cool stuff to play with but let's focus on making these extended videos and in the process of doing that you'll see some of the fun things like the effects that you can use and how to join them all together. Let's start with looking at the output of what I'm going to do here. This started with a video of just this man holding his hands up to his face and then we started adding on some of these effects that are built into Pixverse string them one right after the other right here within the platform to come up with one continuous output here that lasts about 26 seconds. You can go up to about 30 seconds with this extend feature, but 26 seconds is enough to certainly demonstrate this. And then we stopped right here. So let's show you how we did that. So we start here from this interface where we upload the original video, which was the man putting his hands up to his face. And then we choose the effects from this list. In that case, we chose the minions take over effect. And then we get this output. I'm just leaving it in the interface here because you've seen the full frame rate. So now we have the original video with that appended on it. We wanted to add another effect on top of that. So I downloaded the video that was created when we added that minions effect. And then I upload that here and add the gender change effect. Now we have the original video where he puts his hands up and then the minions video is tacked on there. And then it seamlessly transitions into the gender swap effect. 
and then we can add from there. So now I want to add the subject three fever dance effect on top of this. So again, we download the video we just created, bring it in here as our starting video, and then choose the subject three dance effect. And now we have him putting his head in his hands. We have the minions crawl over him. Then we will have the gender swap coming in three, two, one. And then after that shock and surprise, she will start to do the little dance. I don't need to go through every step. I think you see the process, but I will show you another example. At the beginning of this video, we started with this sequence of Liam Neeson riding in on a woolly mammoth and giving you the ultimatum to subscribe or else. For this, we use the transition or the start and end frames feature. And what's really great is to see the settings that you used for any particular video. You can just load it up here and then click on go create and that will reload all the parameters. So you can see here that I had a first frame, which was this one here of him in the background. And then this end frame, which looked like this. And then the prompt was man approaches camera on the back of a woolly mammoth in a snowstorm. Again, the frame rate that you're seeing here is a little janky because it's being slowed down by the screen recorder. But as you saw at the beginning of the video, it comes out really nice and smooth. So the AI created the movement between this first frame and last frame. And then I had that first video. Now, because I had created all of these images separately in another program to create these start and end frames, then I just created another video using the exact same technique. Except this time, the first frame of what I used was the last frame frame of the previous video and then the last frame will be where I want this one to end up. So it looks like this. We're zooming in and in this case it did a hard camera cut which I normally don't like but really it doesn't really matter. It does a nice job and it still works for the opening. Nobody had to know that oh no I wanted it to not cut there because this is a perfectly normal thing that would happen in any film. But using this technique I did have to bring all of these separate videos into a video editor and then just line them up in the editor and then string them all together. At least at this time I cannot use a video as the beginning of the transition and then have it go to the last frame. I'd love to see them change that. It would save the step of editing those things together, but you can still get a result like the one I did to open this video. Now for the lip sync at the end of the opening, I used the lip sync function right here inside of Pixverse. So let's just look at that result and look at the quality of the lip movement. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I all built in to the platform. The extend feature allows you to create these little narratives that go over time and not just in five seconds, like the opening where we see the woolly mammoth in the background, he walks closer and then we zoom in on him and then he says this whole speech all in the course of about 30 seconds. But in our other example where we strung a bunch of effects together, there was no real narrative. It was just sort of a special effect show. In this case, I want these effects to be there for a reason. To create the very first video, I used the character feature. I had this still image of this face that I took from one of the images that I used in the video and just created a character out of it, which I named Lerm. And the prompt is, Lerm is checking out at a cash register in a convenience store. So you immediately notice in this case, we get more of the characteristics of the face rather than an exact duplicate. Sometimes the resemblance is stronger than other times with the characters, but I didn't really need the resemblance to be exact here. I just wanted a character in the store and I use that as a guide. So now we have the first clip here and he's just at the cash register working. I actually ran two versions of this and this is the video I actually ended up using in the sequence that I'm about to show you. So we start with this video and then we do the same process we did before. I will note that before before I settled on this particular style, I was trying it other ways using the style feature that you can use while you're prompting, not necessarily after the fact. So in this case, I had the character there. I had Lermis checking out at the cash register, but for the style here, I chose cyberpunk rather than no style at all, which would give us the more realistic thing. I didn't end up liking these. I ended up wanting to go with a realistic style, but I also tried the Barbie style as well and got some pretty interesting results. But in any case, the first effect I wanted to do here was the gender swap again. So when you choose that gender swap effect, the prompt fills itself. In. So now we have the original video of him just sort of standing at the register doing his thing and then he does a little move here and the gender swap effect takes place. And then we just go through the same process that we did before, next time adding the suit swagger effect, and then after that, the tiger's touch effect. So after we string all of this together, we have him standing there at the cash register. He leans over and does this little gender swap thing, continues to stand there as if he might be having a conversation with somebody. And then we move into the next effect where he is now wearing a suit and changes his position a little bit, and then he finally goes into the last effect, which is a tiger coming in. Now, how do I tie all this in together as a narrative? Well, like this. Uh, no, this isn't my only job. As a matter of fact, I also work at the circus. You want to see what I do? All right, this is the first trick here. Uh, this puts some people off, and if it does, uh, you can check this one out. This is I call, I'm going to check your card in my suit trick. 
And there's one other thing I do that might surprise you, and that is that I work with tigers. So it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of an interesting gig, and this just kind of keeps me grounded working at the store. So obviously I did a little bit of post editing there, added captions, actually used a different lip sync technology because of the complicated movements we were doing there, but using these tools as the basis for creating content for something that's interesting or unique or tells a story is great. As I say, I could go on and on showing you ways to use this tool and combine all of these things together. Now, I don't know what kind of creator you are, but for me, I like to sit down with basically no idea and do some stream of consciousness things and see what I end up with. And a tool like this where I can just easily say, let's tag this on and tag this on and extend it this way, whether it's through effects or through another prompt, you've got incredible flexibility here to create longer form pieces that tell a story with some really interesting visual effects that would be hard to do through prompting or outside of a platform like this. If these are the kind of tools and toys you'd like to learn about, well, why not subscribe to this channel? Because this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will.